Okay, in this uh, quick video, we're going to go over how to calculate the time weighted rate of return. And I'll show you how to do that on your calculator. But just a, a real quick point here. Okay, I mean, you know, looking at this formula, it's pretty, it looks pretty intimidating to be able to use this. Uh, so we'll go through, you know, how to use the buttons on the calculator. Uh, and now, just to set the context here, you know, this is uh, is looking at, you know, calculating, you know, rates of return or expected returns. And, you know, one simple way is just to use the arithmetic uh, average, so, or, or the arithmetic mean, okay, so and the arithmetic average would simply just add up all of the all of the data points so get the sum of all of those uh, all of those data points and then divide by you know the number of data points okay this math formula looks kind of intimidating but uh, okay let's 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 link it to our example i've got an example down here where I've got some returns for this uh, BZG growth fund, and I've got it over these five years. And if I were to calculate the arithmetic uh, average or arithmetic mean or the expected return, I would just simply do a 10% plus 15% uh, minus 10% uh, plus 20% plus 5% and divide all that by five, because there's five data points. And if I did this, I would get an arithmetic average of 8%. And, you know, in theory, uh, this is nice and easy to use, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, if there's a really large uh, uh, outlying number, that's really going to affect this arithmetic mean. So a better measure to use uh, is, is the geometric mean or the time-weighted rate of return. So the time weighted rate of return, uh, this is going to be calculated as, uh, according to our formula, one plus each of the returns, uh, and then we'll put all those to the exponent of one over n, which is the number of time periods that we have. Uh, then we'll subtract one, multiply by 100 to get our answer. So if we were to write this out, then I would be doing this like this. Uh, okay, so one plus the first period return, so that's 10% return. So that's going to be 1.10, okay, multiplied by one plus the next period return, 1.15 times one plus the next return. Oh, we lost 10%, so that's one minus 0 0.1, so that's going to be 0 0.9 times uh, one plus 20%, so that's 1.20 times uh, one plus 5%, 1.05. Now, all of this needs to be put to the exponent. All of this needs to be put to the exponent one over five, because we have five periods. Then we'll subtract off one, and uh, we, will, we will multiply by 100 to get this into percent. Okay, so now how do we do this on our calculator? Well, let's just grab our calculator here and uh, we'll move this over so we can see it. Here's the, the HP uh, 10B2+. Plus. So uh, let's now uh, uh, identify the keys that we're going to be using. So uh, right down here underneath the multiplication sign is the Y to the X button. We're gonna be using that Y to the X button to uh, get the the exponent in our formula, okay? Uh, and, uh, and then uh, I'm also going to use these brackets that are in here. Uh, let's, uh, let's do this so we can see it in, in, in this color. Um, so I'll do these brackets, which are underneath here, okay? And, uh, and then I'm also gonna be using my shift key so that I can get to those second functions. Okay, so uh, let's uh, make sure that we can handle this. And now let's plug it in here. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll do the math here. So let's just do this. Uh, a 1.1 1 .1 times uh, 1.15 times 0.9 times 1.2 times 1.05 equals. So now I have uh, this 
calculated inside here. So I've got uh, I've got one. So I've got this is equal to one point four three four five, and now this is to the exponent one fifth, and then we will subtract off one, multiply by a hundred. So now, how do I do this part right here? Okay, this is the tricky part, getting this exponent uh, to the one fifth. So what we're going to do is now hit the shift key, and then I'm gonna hit this uh, Y to the X button. So that's now telling me it's pending, that's telling the, the calculator that I'm about to do something. It knows that it's now to an exponent. So now I'm gonna hit this uh, shift key, and I'm gonna open a bracket, and I'm gonna now do one, divided by five, and then I'm gonna hit the shift key and I'm gonna close the bracket, and then I'm gonna hit equals. Okay, so there it is, it's now done the math for me. And of course, you know, you may already know that, that one divided by five is 0.2 and you could enter that, but what if it's a different fraction? So this now gives me a 1.0748, I'll subtract off one, so this is gonna give me 0 0.0748. And now if we multiply by 100, this gives us, uh, us 7.48%, which is our answer that we can see down below. So I think that this is a, a, a quick way to do it to, you, using this calculator. And I think you, you should be uh, ready to, uh, to handle that kind of question. I mean, it may show up as a trivial kind of question, but there it is. Here's our answer here, 7.48. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, helpful and uh, we'll end this here.